Welcome back and let's go ahead and take a look at current temperatures and conditions around the area. Waking up to cooler temperatures still in towards the mid and lower 50s like 54 degrees in Kirksville. But we have quite a difference just across the border in southeast Iowa already up towards 60 degrees in that's Hummel as well as Fairfield. And we do have some remnant showers building in around portions of the area really right along the Missouri and Iowa border. We did see some earlier showers pushing just south of the border into Missouri. But we're going to start to see those dissipating out in the next few hours and then we're going to turn over to watching the cloud cover depart as we head in towards the afternoon. As for your bus stop forecast, as you're headed out the door, you may need a light jacket because of the showers, but we also are looking at temperatures down towards 56 degrees at 7 a.m. So we're going to go ahead and give today's start a B rating just because of those showers. As we head in towards the later morning and early afternoon, we're going to start watching that cloud cover depart and we're going to see the temperatures right on line with what we had yesterday, 80 degrees for the high temperature today. And we're going to see lighter winds out of the southeast for most of the day today as well the east southeast and we're going to see very very comfortable conditions with the cloud cover departing as for tonight's forecast down towards 59 degrees for your overnight low so slightly warmer than what we saw yesterday however it's still down below the seasonable average for this time of year mostly clear skies winds out of the east southeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour let's go ahead and jump on into our future future cast though there's that high pressure system i was talking about yesterday and as it departs the area we're still being influenced by some high pressure but the 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 high the, the center of the high pressure system is not located over our area. It's well off towards the north in towards the Can Canada and U.S. border. And as that starts to dissipate out over our area, it's going to allow more moisture to build back in. However, when we talk about the tropical depression, Harvey making its way towards the, the Texas border with the Gulf of Mexico, we are looking at it strengthening to potentially become a hurricane. However, will it be influencing our weather as we head in towards the weekend even farther than that? Really not so much. We're not seeing that moisture spread farther north from the Gulf of Mexico up in towards the Missouri and Iowa area. It is starting to get farther north than earlier models were indicating, but right now we're still looking at high pressure over our area, really influencing that moisture, not allowing it to really explode north from the Gulf of Mexico, but we're going to keep our eyes on it because if it does move north, we could be looking at a lot of rain in a short amount of time, giving us some flash flooding events because that's what that system will be bringing with it. A lot of rain, heavy storms would follow along that hurricane as it made landfall and pushed farther north into the central states. As for later in towards the weekend, Saturday night into Sunday is our best chance for some significant rainfall. But as this starts to descend down from the north, we're going to see it really stringing out and giving us just some hit and miss scattered showers throughout the day on Sunday. As for rainfall amounts, we may see just about a quarter of an inch, some areas getting upwards of just about four tenths of an inch. So really not a lot of rain going to be falling with this next round. As for your extended forecast, 80 degrees once again on Friday, 83 Saturday and 81 Sunday and we're dropping down towards 79 degrees by the time we get into Monday. Now stick with us. Tech Bites is coming up next.